Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid latest and important updates. Kickstarting with today's agenda, we will be bringing you updates on the highly anticipated El Clasico, which is not too far from now, as recent update claims FC Barcelona star midfielder Pedri Gonzalez could miss the anticipated Clasico versus Real Madrid due to an injury the young star has picked up. We are going to be bringing you updates on that in this episode as we move forward. And uh, shortly after that, we are going to be talking to you about Girona's left back, who is on loan from Real Madrid, as reports claim that Madrid are willing to activate the 8 million euros buyback option for the La Liga left back. We are going to be bringing you an update on that as well in this episode as we move forward. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our next update. Barcelona's hope of starting a late fight for the league title suffered a major setback when they were held to a goalless draw by Athletic Club Bilbao. It was a dismal performance from the Catalan outfit who were unable to break the shakers of the opposition defense. To make things worse, Barcelona had to deal with injuries to two key players in the form of Frankie the John and Pedri. Pedri's injury in particular could strike deep into the heart of the Barcelona fans and the player himself. The Spaniard has already been injured twice this season and has spent a significant time off the field. And this fresh blow means he could be set for another prolonged spell on the sidelines. In a recent report, AS has issued an update on the fitness of Pedri, suggesting that the midfielder is running the risk of missing the next El Clasico on April the 21st. Pedri, in fact, suffered the worst of the two blows. Tests have indicated that the player has a tear in the rectal femoris of his right leg, the same blow he has been carrying for a year now. As per RS, everything suggests Pedri will be out for a period of five to six weeks. That means the Spaniard could be sidelined for by the time Barcelona take on Real Madrid on April 21st. This should serve as a major blow for Barcelona, who have had minimal options in midfield this season due to serious series of injuries throughout the course of the campaign. Real Madrid, though, will be relieved by the potential absence of Pedri in this important encounter. The game against Barcelona, after all, could serve as an opportunity for Los Blancos to put an end to the title race once and for all. Real Madrid host Barcelona at the Santiago Bernabeu on the weekend of April 21st and Carlo Ancelotti is hoping to have the title race done and dusted before that game. So having discussed and concluded with that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as Real Madrid 
will activate 8 million euros buyback option for La Liga defender, reports have claimed. Even though summer transfer window is still some way away, Real Madrid are already making their moves in the market. Kylian Mbappe appears close to joining the club on a free transfer with his Paris Saint-Germain contract expiring at the end of the season. And just a while ago, we reported that there is a significant progress being made in the operation to sign Alfonso Davies from Bayern Munich. It appears that Davies could be joined by another left-back in the Real Madrid roster come the summer. Now, Cadena Ser is further reporting that Real Madrid can resign former defender Miguel Guterres from Girona by activating a buyback clause in his contract. Los Blancos allowed Guterres to sign for Girona in the summer of 2022, but managed to retain a 50% sell-on clause for the future as well as a buyback option worth 88 million euros rather. Guterres has evolved into one of the best left-backs in La Liga over the past couple of seasons and has been a standout player for Girona this term as they make a push for the league title. Given his impressive performances, a number of Premier League clubs tried to sign him in January, but the La Fabrica product turned them down and opted to wait for the summer to see if Real Madrid come calling. Now, it appears that the Merengues have made the decision to activate the buyback clause to bring Guterres back home, with Davies likely to arrive in the Real Madrid dressing room. Real Madrid are also planning to resign Guterres. They would start with next season with as many as four senior left-backs. After all, both Ferland Mendy and Fran Garcia are also at the club. As such, two of the four stars could be sold in the summer, with Davis the only player guaranteed to stay. Meaning, Real Madrid could bring his arrest back and sell him for a higher fee. All decide to part ways with Mendy whose contract expires in 2025, or even decide to sell Garcia just a year after bringing him back. So I've only discussed and concluded with that. We have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our next update. See you next time, and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.